How many brothers is it that claim they live right? Forgiving brothers like the way of Christ. How many brothers is it that steady move wrong? Correcting brothers and reprove them like forgive and let go. Read scripture some more. Forgive and let go. That's the way of Christ. Forgive and let go. First, we're going to give you a color scripture. Like King Solomon was one of our kings of our nation. You got that? Song of Solomon. King Solomon was a black man. And he did he did the same thing, you know, marrying all these other nations and stuff. That was a sin. The songs of Solomon, verse 1. The songs of songs, which is Solomon's. Go to verse 5. Verse 5. I am black. I am what? I am black. So King Solomon is black. So our, our forefather, King Solomon, was black. That's right. So he he committed sin by marrying these other nations. Bring it out. That brought us into yeah. captivity today. Bring it that, out. That's the effects of sin by sleeping with these other nations. But you get that up. Uh, but it's, there's no color and vision, though. First Kings 11. There's no color and vision. So how, you, how can you say that? There's no color and vision. There's not supposed to be, but it won't. There was no taught no color. So why are we standing here right now? Where what we the Bible were, we, say? We, hold on. We was enslaved, right? My, my forefathers, my ancestors were enslaved. I'm Puerto Rican and Cape Verde. What's up? You feel me? Yeah. And, I, 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 and my wife is Native American. Uh, and, 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 and her family was slaves. Native she American. looks white. Okay. She's Turkey Indian. Okay. I put that out there. She's a white woman because she looks white. She's black. Okay. I, I, I wanted to state that because not all white people yeah, well, and not all well, natives well, are... Okay. Okay. If, if, if she's a Native American, the, the yeah, spirit... She's a minister. Okay, if, if she's a Native American, the spirit will bear witness to these curses. Now you can bring it out. Right so we're going to bring this out to you. But at the same time. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Bring it out. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. God's spirit bears witness to our spirit that we are the children of God. We, the children of God, went on slave ships to serve the other nations. Why, why are you leaving, brother? What's the fact? Hold on, hold on. Hey, come on, grab this. Hey, what's your name, bro? I grew up in the 70s. All right, hold on. What's your name? No, let me speak. Yeah, I got you. I said, what's your name? Brother Rico, I'm Israel. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to dialogue like men. All right, go ahead. My thing is like this. I grew up around racism. Okay, around racism. I grew up in a neighborhood where it was hard. I'm not from the city. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I come out here, and you know, I changed my life. Okay. I work with the community out here. Right. Like, I want to pull me what? Mission State is a fake county. It doesn't okay. matter what color you are. Okay. If you're homeless, you need food, you need clothes. Right. We need, we need roof you, we're going to take care of you. Okay, now, Rico, you said Brother Rico? Yes, sir. All right, Brother Rico, what does God say? Bring it out. We know it ain't about color and pigmentation because we all vary from different pigmentation. Right. So, but what do God say about interracial marriages or about the other nations that enslave the people? What does God say Teacher. about that? Bring it out. There shouldn't be, there, there shouldn't be nothing about it. Hey, don't say anything about interracial. Well, Give me Deuteronomy 73. You, 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 okay. Right. All right. So now we're going to have you do that. We, yeah, we're going to look. I'm going to see. No, look. We're going we gonna to see. Okay. What's the context? That's what it is. So why was he saying this? All right. So you're a minister, right? It's too much. Hold on, Rico. I want you to explain it. I, I am. Yeah, this is a dialogue. Right? It's a dialogue. He said, the woman says what? Do you remember she said this? It's out of context. Read it. It sounds racist, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Bring it out. Say you know the Bible. Hey, bring it out. What did God do to the Egyptians on the on the behalf of the Israelites? Bring it out. God is racist. Look, the white woman took him away. That's why she didn't stay. If he hopped on a mo moped and dipped out, Bring that's what he did. Teach, right. teach, teach, teach. She said, you're taking it out of context. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Bring it out. Neither should I make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou should not give unto his son, nor his daughter should thou take unto thy son. How is we taking that out of context? Give me 12 before and 12. Bring then it I'm out. To you, teach, teach. I'm about to show y'all something. They don't read the Bible, they don't know the Bible. Because if they knew the Bible, they wouldn't be out here on the Sabbath day. He wouldn't be out here. This is the this this is the apocrypha. Give me a 1611, man. Right. I don't like when y'all bringing out that. So show them this. This is the apocrypha. They took 14 books out of the Bible. They took this out of the Bible. You remember that? You know it's a rumor saying they removed some books out of the Bible. This is what they took out of the Bible. The 14 books. Apocrypha means hidden things in Greeks. 
The book of Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it out. Beware of all harm, my son. So beware means to what? That's a warning. When you say beware of dog, it's telling you, hey, be careful. Bring be it cautious. Right. It said beware of all harm, my son. Go ahead. And chiefly take hold them. Meaning what? Hoes walking on the street. He said, be aware of them damn things. Why? Because they give you STDs. They can eliminate your race. Come on. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy father. Come on, what? And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy father. He said, get a wife of your race. They are the seed of your father. If your father was Hispanic, get a Hispanic wife. If your father was an African-American, get an African-American wife. That's what he's saying. He said, if you don't do that, you're committing whoredom. That's what he's saying. But keep reading. And take not a strange woman to wife. He said, don't take no strange woman to wife. That man was with a strange woman. A white woman is a strange woman to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Come on. Which is not of thy father's son. He said, which is not of the 12 tribes of Jacob. Read this, sir. Raise that sign up. They got to understand this. Teach y'all. Cristo. Hey, no blanco. Cristo, he's Negro. He's black. That's right. He's black. Look at this. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. He's saying if the wife ain't of the tribes, she's a stranger. You're committing whoredom. That's what the Bible is saying. Come on. For we are the children of the prophets. He said we the children of the prophets. We came from Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. These were our forefathers. That's right. The earth, and the earth wasn't replenished by Jacob. Right. Jacob had 12 sons. Right. He, was the, he was the forefather of the 12 tribes. That's our forefather. Right. Come on. Watch this. Give, give me Leviticus 18. We're going to go into that. Leviticus 18. What is it, 22? What is it, 13? What is it? 14? What is going to lineage about what it's telling you what you can and can't do? Yeah, give me that real quick. We're going to go into the incest. Hey, y'all, what, hey, what, uh, what race y'all is? Y'all? Yeah, Hispanic, Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican. You're Honduran. you Honduran. So you're from the, he'll be like tribe of what? Manessa? No, Zebulon. You'll be Zebulon. You'll be Zebulon. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah, you'll be Zebulon between Guatemala and Panama. Come on. No, what'd he say? He said he, he said he Honduran? Yeah. Because that's around Salvadorian and all that. That's where y'all will be at. But we're going to go into some history after I answer this question. Verse 6. The book. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 6. Bring it out. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him. So it said you shouldn't be approached to anybody that's near to kin. Read on. To uncover their nakedness. So I can't uncover my sister nakedness. Right? Go ahead. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shall thou not uncover. So I said you can't uncover. You can't sit here and look at your mama and try to have sex with your mama. Right. If you're a woman, you can't have sex with your father. Right. That goes into that incest. Right. Go ahead. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. It ain't that you look. You can't sleep with your father's wife. Right. Even though it ain't your mama. Right. You can't sleep with her. Go ahead. It is thy father's nakedness. That's your father's wife. That's what that's what he can do with her. He can see her naked. Go ahead. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, Bring it and the daughter of thy mother. You can't see the nakedness of your sister, the daughter of thy father, and the daughter of thy mother. Please. Go ahead. Whether she be born at home or born abroad. So that's why I won't give me Tobit. So now it's talking about the, the daughter of thy father and the daughter of thy mother. So guess what? You have kids, right? And then I have kids. Later on, maybe 10 generations and stuff. They had kids and kids, and then they marry each other. It's that incest, brother. It's that incest. How? How is, how is that incest? That means everybody would be committing incest because we all came from Adam. Every came from Adam. So that means that mean we all committed incest. Then you look at it like that. But no, the Bible ain't about that. It's talking. No, it's more than two people, but we ain't gonna deal with that. Bring it out. Adam and Eve. It was more than Adam was chosen of God. He right. wasn't the only man on the planet. Right. But that's another that's another thing. We going into nationality and going into whoredom. I want to stay right. on the topic. Come on. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. They married wives of their own kindred. That's right. Oh yeah, so guess what? What you saying is, if you saying incest is a factor, you saying I can't marry a black woman. That's what you saying. Right, you know. Because all black women is related. Ain't we all Latino people on late?
lineage. Yeah. All 12 people are related yeah. if you go back into the lineage. Teach up. That way you say take a woman of that kindred that share the same history, the yeah. same culture with you. Right. Right. Come on. Yeah, so it said don't take it said don't take a daughter or a, a son of the of the, uh, that was born of thy father or of thy mother. Right. Come on. Yeah, everybody do. Who is God, mother, and father? God is the creator of all things. God, God, he always existed. He's the ancient of days. He's been there. He created the universe. Why shall the person that was created say to the creator, where did you come from? I know, yeah, I can't ask God. Hey, God, where did you come from? He created me. It ain't my business where he came from. My business is to keep the commandments of God. That's it. And serve that man. That's it. Right. I ain't asking no question. What am I to ask him a question? I'm nothing. Come on. Verse 13. Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren. So I said, love your brothers. Love the people of your lineage and your culture and your race. Go ahead. Despise not thy brothers in thy heart. It said, don't hate your brother in your heart, your sister in your heart. Come on. Thy sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them. Hold on, see? He said you you show a hatred to your people when you don't take a wife oh, of your kindred. Oh. If you're walking down the street with a white woman, you hate your people. Right, right. If the black woman walking down the street with a white man, you hate your people. Right, right. That's what the Bible is saying. Right. We are teaching the word of God. That's what we are teaching. Right. Come on. For in pride is destruction and much trouble. And lewdness and decay and great want. For lewdness is the mother of famine. So he's just saying, that's why all the famine going on because we breaking the laws of God. We out here, inter it, it, we out here uh, indulging in uh, interracial marriages. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Give me Romans 9 about the pot of this. Yeah. Romans chapter 9, verse 21. Have not the pot of power over the clay? So now look, it says, have not what? Read it slow for the people. Have not the pot or power over the clay. What does that mean? Have not the pot, pot or power over the clay. Bring it out. You all know? I all praise the sort of humility. Read it again. What would you say? All right, read it again. Right, start with verse 20. Verse 20. Nay, but oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Who are we to reply against God? <laughs> this is what Paul said. Go ahead. Should the thing formed say to him that formed it? Should the thing formed say to him that formed it? God created us. Did I say something to him? Go ahead. Why has thou made me thus? Why you make me black? Why you make me like this? Why you keep looking at the God? Go ahead. Have not the potter power over the clay? The potter has power over the clay. When you go on in pottery classes, he's molding and shaping the vase. Right. God has the power. He molded us in the way that he saw fit. Right. We can't ask, we can't ask him no questions. The question that we need to be asking is why are we living in the poorest conditions? Right. Why are we killing each other? Right. Why are we living in a project stacked up on each other? These are the questions why we why are there single mother, single parent households? That's the questions that we need to be asking. Right. Why do the blacks and Hispanic women abort their children? Bring it out. 19 million babies get aborted every year Bring in the out. black and Hispanic community. Why ain't nobody saying nothing? Teach These up. are the questions that need to be asked. That's right. Why did they implement Section 8 where a black man or a Hispanic man can't live with a woman and take her as child? Why is these things implemented? It's something, it's an agenda on our race. They're trying to destroy the blacks and Hispanics from coming together. We be thinking we're different people. You be like, you're black, I'm Dominican, we're different. No, we're the same. Guess what they did? Give me uh, 2nd Edges 13. Look at Jeremiah 50:33. I'm about to show you something. The Dominican, the Cuban, the Honduran, the Brazilian, the black man, the Jamaican man, we all the same family. We all La Familia. We were just conquered in different lands and taught a different language. That's it. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. It said the children of Judah, don't mind him. He mad because Jesus ain't white. Because Jesus don't look like him. That's why he mad. He ain't white. He red like the 
said that he was. Don't let him, don't let, don't look over that. We teach him, we teach him living water. Every white man gets mad when we teach truth. He get mad. If I was out here saying Jesus was white, he'd be like, hallelujah, amen. Hey, Jesu Cristo is negro. No es blanco. No. Jesus the Christ is a black man. Give me the sign and hold it up. Hold up the black image of Christ. You mad because Jesus is black. You pissed off. He pissed off. Look at this. This is the man that's going to kill you and your forefathers. Now, now that I got that out. <laughs> yeah, give me two. Because look, how you, in 1492, right, the conquistadors came to Honduras, Honduras, Salvador, Guatemala, the, the conquistadors came and conquered that land and said that Spaniards start teaching y'all Spanish. Y'all spoke Hebrew. We spoke Hebrew, but guess what? We got colonized by uh, the Englishmen. And all that took them captive. Read this from the top again. Jeremiah 5, 33. Y'all can put the signs down. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. He's saying, look, give me that sign, Officer Isaac. You want to look at that? You want to see the sign? <laughs> Show the white man the sign. Show him the sign. <laughs> Show him the sign. Yeah, that's our sister. That's our sister right there. Now look, you see this? Look, this is Northern Kingdom. This was these are your ancestors over there. Show them, show them the sign. These are your ancestors. It says Judah and Israel have been oppressed together. The Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom, we are oppressed. We in the, we living in the same conditions. Y'all living up projects. We live in the projects. Y'all on food steps. We on food steps. You can put it down. Y'all on food steps. We on food steps. We got sing, single uh, mother households. Y'all got single mother household. Right. We all been oppressed together. Right. Do right. not do not get confused by the pigmentation of the skin because some Puerto Ricans or some Cubans, they are lighter than others. Don't get confused by that. Or the language. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. We are oppressed together. Now give me some. to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.
Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom.